Peace, y'all. What's good? What's good? Sitting here in front of Suck My Kara Walker. I bet you're like, damn, why the hell did he name it that? Well, let me cut. Let me try to make a long story short. Uh, it's a part of a series of paintings that, that are titled Death to the White Art World, which, of course, is going to make you wonder what the heck I say that for, because um, I studied art history in school, and uh, that's, that is the tradition of art. The new, the, the, the avant-garde is supposed to challenge the old guard. You know, Dadaism, Cubism, Surrealism, all of those things happen because the new set of artists were tired of what the, the older, their, their father's generation was doing. America, in all its greatness, is only, can only take credit for two art movements. Abstract Expressionism, which is from the Jackson Pollock, Norman Lewis, uh, Rothko era, and in uh, pop art, you know, Andy Warhol and then Jean-Michel Basquiat. Um, it's over a hundred years and, and that's, that's despicable. And I think as a black man from the Caribbean who's very aware of my African connection, that it's time for somebody other than the people who have been defining what art is and more importantly, what art isn't, to change, to be challenged. And that's white, rich white men and the people that appease them, the people that, that appease to their way of looking at things. And, and that's my major issue with Sister Kara Walker. Yes, she's a black woman. And I'm sure people are going to come at me for that, too. Why am I going at a black woman? Because I think we, I know we do. That's what, if you ever, if you've ever read Richard Wright's critique of Ellison or Baldwin's critique of Wright, then you understand it's an artist's job to challenge the artist on why they did it and what, what's going on. And I feel that though Kara is very brilliant, you know, her first work I did after get a chance to see him, The Silhouettes. I, I, and her take on antebellum slavery, and I actually had to be sitting at dinner afterwards with an elder artist to really understand that she had glazed over one component, and that's black men having their way with white women. There were millions, there were so many clips of white men having their way with black women, but there was none. And the history book says that, that that was just as prevalent. Why wouldn't she put that in her work? So when she came out with the, the piece at the Domino Factory with my grandmother and your grandmother on her knees with her atomically, anatomically correct vagina being shown to the world in a position, coincidentally, like the white man loved to rape her most favorably in, um, I was offended again. So this came out of me. I used David because I felt like she was playing on the idea of European statues and appealing to that. So I used David, quote unquote, greatest statue ever. And, um, and I put the, the face of the statue that she put as the head of the penis. And, and that's my way of telling uh, the white art world, suck my Kara Walker, because Kara Walker is who they're presenting to us as the person who, who is, you know, f we're, her and I, I think, are the same age, maybe the voice of my generation, and I don't want her to be my voice. Um, yeah, so that's why it's called Suck My Kara Walker. If you look up I, at the very top, you see me doing exactly what she didn't do. She had so many innuendo type things of, of black women giving white men fellatio. There was none of, of the reverse. None, none. Like she did not offend white women at all. She did not desecrate uh, what, what a white, the thing that white men values most at all in any of that series of paintings. I went back and saw it again and there aren't any. And if somebody remembers one, challenge me, please. But I know I did not see any of them. You know, that's why a lot of the elders, like Benny C. here and those people, Faith Ringo, they were not, they, were, they did not champion her when she first came up because I think that she, she appeals to the establishment. The establishment wants to tell us what to do and what to paint. So I say to the establishment, suck my Kara Walker. Ayabi Bomendingo, go on.